Yeah, it's a bunch of House of Leaves is the perfect book for people who love Wikipedia, but wish it could be scarier. My god. There's been a terrible on purpose down at the accident factory. Why is computer fun and phone evil? Because of the lich. Oh, sure. Blame it on the lich. Today's card is a 3x5 index card. Being interested, or in my case, actively pursuing a career, in zookeeping is so frustrating for a multitude of reasons, but one of the most insane things is how often you're reminded that a worrying number of people still think zoos are just animal prisons. I've had to do the, no, we can't just release them all into the wild, yes, really, they'll die, conversation with grown-ass adults so many times! You know, it likely didn't help that many of those adults like to grow up watching Wallace and Gromit, the wrong trousers, and the penguin ended up in a zoo, and they treated it as prison, you know, okay. What is a knight if not a chained dog? Dude, your brave and loyal knight fucking bit me. Um, his name is Blythe, and you will treat him with fucking respect? Yo, Skyrim got me one to eat a carrot, cabbage, potato, venison, chop, boiled, cream tart, leek, grilled leek, salmon steak, garlic, green apple, red apple, rabbit haunch, and long taffy treat. My personal theory about why queer people have a reputation for being weird and loud is that once you figure out that being yourself, even in the most mundane and semi-normative way, will piss people off. You may as well throw off every trace of normative behavior and sensibility you don't want because if you're going to be hated anyways, you might as well have fun with it. Sorry I keep liking and unliking your post. I like the animation. Ugh. We went to the beach and tried to find rocks that looked like each other's eyes. Sorry, but this is this is the purest date idea ever. I love everything about this. I'm writing it down. Corn dog. In the middle there's some meat. Oh god, it's like a sleep paralysis demon. Getting murdered, but it's so traumatic I repress the memory and only actually die years later during hypnotherapy. You know, people have tagged this with like a million different pieces of media, but the only comparison I respect is Looney Tunes. I just want to say a formal thank you to Pasta for being like that. Mmm. Mmm! Just remember, one day you're going to open Tumblr and the crabs will be raving like they never have before. It'll likely be the day when the horse can never go back to the hospital. <sighs> Rip, Mythbusters. You would have loved destroying Cybertrucks. That's okay. Cybertrucks are doing a fine job destroying themselves. Have you ever created a character specifically to go through the horrors and then realize you don't want him to go through the horrors anymore? I changed my mind. I want him safe at home before six, sober and content, ready for dinner. <laughs> Yeah. For the longest time, when people would say cryptocurrency, this is what I'd imagine. Why? Why couldn't it have been this? We were so close, guys. We were so close. You think you want me to shut up? I have to listen to myself even when I'm not talking. Wow, this is a fucking mood. Let me get this straight about you Earthlings. You cannot drink water from the most abundant source on your planet because it is 3% salt. Yet you can easily process various poisons like capsaicin, caffeine, and menthol with no harm and even some benefits. Your human body's weird, man. To be fair, all three of those things will make the human body shit like its life depends on it. It's the year 2027. Tom Hardy uploads Venom 4, which he filmed on his iPhone. Venom is just a piece of cardboard because a $100 budget ran out and the entire movie is set in his backyard. We finally get a kiss scene during the reunion of Eddie and Venom before he fights a drawing of Tom Harlan's Spider-Man. It makes $5 billion in two days. Well, at least it wasn't AI generated. Can we talk about John Cena and the Barbie movie for a bit? Like, my favorite part about this is that they only put him in there because he asked to be in it! John Cena asked if there was anything he could do in the Barbie movie, and they came back with, like, uh, how about a merman? And John Cena said, hell yeah! John Cena had a cameo in the Barbie movie? I didn't see him. Wink. Voice of the devil. Nah, see, you confused your identity with your function in capitalist society. You shouldn't define yourself by how you stay alive, but by what you would be doing if staying alive wasn't an issue. Wow. Thanks, Satan. 
Sleeping when you're so, so tired and eepy is good, actually. But watch out. Something's happened in the fibers of the universe. Because before it was cat girl dog boy. But now everywhere I'm seeing record amounts of cat boy puppy girl. The furries, could they be? Ah, well, who's to say? Putting a hat on a bear can make the bear easily identifiable as an iconic character. Little ranger hat? That's Smokey. Little top hat? Oh, it's Freddy. That, uh, green fedora? Yogi bear? Red hat that goes under the head? Winnie the Pooh. See, you guys are getting it. All right, everyone, stop. What the fuck you doing? Look at her in her jumper. Oh, my God. Those coconut crabs shot Amelia at Earhart's plane down because they were misogynists. Tumblr is the only place where I don't know the reference, but it's still funny. It's a reference to real life 1937s, I guess. Combat log. The effect ibuprofen has ended. Me. Fresh out of the egg with my big feet. Yo, fuck consistency in our we ballin'. Whatever comes out of my head next is up to God. And the Lord that said, dude, bro, uh, Kato and Ray from OnStars kissing while filing divorce papers. Hmm. Not a fan of the humble wombat. I would like to apologize for things I said while under the influence. It will happen again. If you think the posts I make are bad, you should see the thoughts I am thinking in my mind. Where's the Mitsuki quote? Where's the goddamn Mitsuki quote? I used to rebel by destroying myself, but realize that's awfully convenient to the world. For some of us, our best revolt is self-preservation. Goddamn, that's badass. I don't even like him that much. I'm doing this for normal reasons. You've heard of one shots. Now get ready for none shots. It's when you think of an idea for a thick and then don't write it. Yo, yeah, not to brag, but I'm so fucking good at this. Job applications asking questions like, would you rather play Jenga with the weight of all human souls or chess with the fate of all men? And then getting mad because the correct answer was, I would ask the customer if they'd like to purchase any additional items. Like, bitch, that wasn't even a fucking choice in the application. You didn't even have the audacity to put other blank as a thing. I just, I just wanted to sell computers. People are wrong about chosen family. A chosen family can become just as involuntary and inescapable as regular family, if you use your fucking imagination. Chronically ill bitches when they realize one day of rest doesn't cancel out a week of overdoing it. It's me. I'm chronically ill bitches. Processed food was literally designed for you to eat. Organic is just some crap they found on the ground somewhere. This seems like something you'd see on Facebook. You're mad because someone didn't like your barely art. I stand by my opinion. You splashed some red paint over a statue and called it a day. I mean, what was that at part one? You want me so bad. Honestly, I do. Okay, you're cute. Let's make out. Where am I? Hey, yo. Quit doom scrolling and start goom scrolling. Yeah, I'm gonna be a certified goomer. Wait. Today, I learned, until 2007, Russian astronauts were issued a sawed-off shotgun and machete to fight off Siberian bears and other wildlife upon landing back on Earth. They are now issued a semi-automatic pistol. My face when I'm just out here foraging for berries when a capsule crashes to the ground from the heavens and a cosmonaut comes out and points a gun at me. It's not even cringe. It's just personal and unpolished and you've been taught to flinch away from vulnerability which doesn't mock itself. You stick your fingers in my cage. My pitch black cage. You feel something cold and wet. You retract your fingers, and to your horror, you realize... I painted your nails. I hope you like them. Hey, wait. Handle or Vader at Artifact. I can be trusted with godlike power, I swear. I, I, I can handle it. Divine madness. My first order of degree. Everyone becomes a cute lucky alpha they will like it. Hey, how many eggs do you have in your fridge? This is exactly what I'm complaining about. So many people act like it's my job to do research for them when these questions are easily Googleable. 
Google how many eggs are in my fridge. To count the number of eggs in your fridge, you can physically count them. I, I was going to edit this Google results page to say something funny, but honestly, I don't think I can outdo what I actually got. I can't believe I can't even tell people to Google it anymore. It used to be my thing, man. Social media is wild. I followed Santa Claus on Blue Sky, and he followed me back. Santa Claus is not a gimmick account, but the account and legal name of the current deputy mayor of North Pole, Alaska. And now he can see every time I repost, Invader Sandy My Ratatouille rat is making me fight someone else who is also controlled by a Ratatouille rat. Me and the other guy have no beef. Only the rats are enemies and we have no idea why. While punching with limbs no longer alone, we lock eyes with mutual grief and compassion, forgiving whoever kills the other. What the fuck is Yu-Gi-Oh even about? You know, normal stuff like ghosts, murder, reincarnation, dragons and wizards, friendship, sending people to psych words, children cards, games, you know, usual. You know, if you close your eyes and believe hard enough, this is also JoJo Stardust Crusaders. They want you to make fried rice. Who's they? The walk left. How am I supposed to make fried rice if the walk left? Hmm, skillet issue. Even if this was a dream, he still couldn't drag his feet and pussy around like this. He had to be decisive if he... Preach, I guess. Took me three rereads to realize that drag his feet and pussy around are two different phrases. Oh! I have misunderstood. Wait, hold on. <clears throat> He still couldn't drag his feet and pussy around. <laughs> Shit. No. <laughs> no. I don't fear you or your polycule. Me before I get killed by the mafia. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, these are on fire today. Oh no, my wonder is not childlike. My whimsy is old. My frivility is steeped in ancient wisdom. My stillness is battle-worn. My awe of the world has been long forged through trial and tribulation. I have earned this wonderment. I have protected it for decades against a society that tells me constantly that it should not belong to me. I was born with wonder, and I have carried it against all odds with me through adulthood. It is not childlike by now. It is older than me. Tell me you main cleric without saying you main cleric. <sighs> 2024 is a table year to be a henchman. The word minion is barely usable. And you can't even say goon anymore. Those fucking dragoons from FF14 took it away from us. Oh wait. Just saw someone say they were hyper fixated on cooking with seasonal squash. <laughs> I love that nothing means anything. I'm seriously trauma dumping pepper all over these boiled eggs. Yo, I'm gaslighting my stove. Yo, I'm seriously girl maxing this omelet right now. One of the most challenging skills I've had to learn as an adult is the art of figuring out whether I'm proportionally annoyed with someone or just tired and overstimulated and looking for reasons to be pissed off. Congratulations to the only post I've ever had breach 100k notes without any real discourse or fighting. Just a lot of people wearily going, oh god, same. The real challenge of adulthood that no one tells you about in advance is how many goddamn pieces of paper you have to keep up with that are never important until they are suddenly very important. Adulthood is a video game with no tutorial level. They just throw you in and be like, figure it out, bitch, bye! The sweetest, daintiest boy detective in all of Los Angeles, Willie Gore Explosion has died of rickets after thinking about clues too hard. <gasps> Say it isn't so. How do they choose which sand to be the glass and which sand to be the sand in an hourglass? Imagine you and your best friend were two grains of sand, and you had to be in the hourglass, and your bestie had to be the glass. You're together, but you've never been more apart. A sick and twisted practice hourglassery is. How high do you have to be to think of this? This was me off one chocolate croissant. Shit, that must have been a really good croissant. I hate when people say shit like, But your antidepressants alter your brain function unnaturally. Read on one and... Like, yeah, you're right. They force it to produce serotonin so I can function. Similar to how I take thyroxine because my thyroid doesn't fucking make the right shit. 
similar to how people with diabetes take insulin, similar to how people with low iron take iron supplements, you thin slice of nut loaf. Do you yell at people for eating food because their body just doesn't naturally photosynthesize energy on its own? Never not reblog. Yo, on point. I contain the uwu. What if uwu breached containment? Casualty in the millions. Get them graves ready then, uwu. I the nine, what have you done? Middle-aged man, save me. Save me, evil middle-aged man. Call that a discomfort character. If you're weird enough with the homies, you can break all boundaries of platonic romantic love and make a third, more evil thing. A podcast. No, wait. Better. A D&D &D group. Don't think of it as a bad movie adaptation. Think of it as a 90-minute long commercial for a very good book. Space Jam, 1996. Hold up, what? Hop in, loser. We're gonna see what heaven tastes like. I bet it's marshmallows and raspberries. Shipping a man in a cannon head relationship with another man, but I'm shaking my head the whole time, so you know it's not out of the misogynistic disregard for the woman character. Hey, I have a suggestion. Let's hear out, Tumblr user. I suggest polyamory. I bet their suggestion is pretty good. Enemies to lovers, but it's Nintendo and Sega. Mm-mm-mm. Another individual that has not been exposed to Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Seymour, why did you bring up Blythe in one of your recent videos? Now the blueberry whale is coming! And they're changing directions to you because you can't even spell his name right. Have fun with that shit. It's a common misconception that vampirism automatically leads to bisexuality, but shocking new information from the World Health Organization says that, through sheer coincidence, everyone who's ever been turned into a vampire was already bisexual. Scientists and statisticians all over the globe are working hard to understand this absolute statistical clusterfuck. Mode 11. Not a coincidence. Queer folks adopt other queer folks all the time, and vampires have a long time to get good at gaydar. If I was a vampire, I would definitely turn all of my queer friend group. I think the simpler conclusion is that most queer people and their queer friends just like to bite each other, so, you know, <laughs> shit happens. Gets home, breaks knuckles. Time to shit myself to sleep again, boys. Wait, no, it's crack knuckles. Wait, no, it's cry myself to sleep. Don't reblock this, stop it! His eyes were Coke Zero Brown. Delicious. Hobbs versus Tigger to each last to a dare. Say goodbye to each other because one, we die. Picturing two tiger plushes just kind of sitting there facing each other in the Thunderdome. Well, I am picturing it. Hobbs and Tigger would find some aspect of Tigerhood to bond over. But Calvin would put Christopher Robin in the ground. Hey, I'm really sorry to bother you, but I just wanted to warn you that you... Follow someone on here? <gasps> this can't be true. This is the ideal bog. You may not like it, but this is what Pete performance looks like. Man, I wish that were me. Me staring down AO3. Okay, I'm desperate for fic about this pairing, but like, how desperate? You're not desperate until you're staring at fanfiction.net. Fools! You're not desperate until you're staring down an empty word document. And there it is. Sometimes I put my face up against my dog while he's sleeping to feel his little lungs expand and his little heart beat. And I am struck by the beauty of life and the miracle of nature to evolve for thousands of years just to create one little guy and put him in my house. It's beautiful, man. I know Tumblr has accepted the whole cat's internal monologue is a desolate Victorian child thing, but what if a cat's internal monologue was Golem slash Smeagol? Must defeat the dry foods that serves us. We want soft, juicy morsels from the Kansas. What's it doing, precious? What noises it makes with burnt mouth? We want it. With the tricks of humans does not feed us in hours, must remind them or we'll starve. 
What for dinner? Oh, no! That would kill us! Kill us! New decree, if you have a bald cat, that is their voice. You don't have to be a person anymore or right now. Is one of the greatest gifts people can ever say to me, ever. I will look up at you with such big, beautiful, dull eyes full of so much love and affection that you're giving me the ability to shed that role. Hmm. I think this is meant as a horny post, but not having to act and have the responsibilities of a person is deeply freeing. So I'm putting it here. Believe you and me. It's both horny and non-horny. There's no evidence that ghosts harm people. Economic logic. If ghosts are rational economic actors, they would have no incentive to harming living people. The cost of killing someone would likely outweigh the benefits for the ghost. The worst person you know watching horror movies. Hmm, not really getting a clear profit motive coming through here. I mean, everyone knows Pennywise killed those children because it was tax deductible, right? Pisses me off how good Shakespeare actually is. Like, yeah, he's actually that good. People hype him up like he's the best English writer ever, and yeah, he's actually an S-plus tier writer. Insane he did all that, while naming his characters shit like Count Evil Count and Peter Pennysex. I think you're just jealous you didn't come up with those names yourself. Man who opened a parenthesis he forgot to close four years ago is tragically unaware everything he's said since has been an aside. You know the problem with reading a book? You get hooked. And then it ends, and then you feel sad. This post is cancelled, I have found a new book, and everything is alright again. Like Talos, this cannot be happening. You know, I'm so glad Earth only has one moon. If there were more, I'd have to pick a favorite, and that sounds too emotionally taxing to even fathom. Hey, so if anything about this... Can only accurately reblog this edition until November 25th, 2024. This website loves a damn time limit. Achievement available. Sibling rivalry. Reblog this before our moon becomes an only child again. We have had a second moon for over a month now. Furthermore, it will be gone within the week. Why have I not seen a single picture of it online? Oh, right. It's impolite to post pictures of infants unless you're the parent. My bad. Forgot about that, guys. Sorry. How much does an Aurora Borealis weigh? <laughs> it's pretty light. <laughs> <laughs> Anime about a mythological negotiator on duty to ward off creatures from hell by convincing them to turn away with their charm and looks. Call that Demon Swayer. Is this anything? I got too excited while playing chess and told my opponent that I was going to slit his throat and slaughter him like a hog. Something to work on for next time. Was your opponent the twink you're banging? You people will remember too much about me. When encountering someone stuck in an apology loop, I do not uselessly ask, or worse, demand that they stop apologizing. Rather, I have found it more useful to affect a theatrical tone and formally absolve them. Like a renaissance pope, I absolve you, my child. Usually, the combination of having the absurdity of the situation highlit, combined with a touch of psychological release, if I can get a laugh, is enough to soothe their nerves a bit and get them to break the loop. And who knows, maybe they feel absolved. I don't know, I have an authoritative bearing. This counts as a spell. It's like lay on hands, but for people with anxiety. The duality of man is thinking children cannot help themselves and we all need to be patient with them as they explore what it means to be a human in public. And also, damn, I wish this crying baby was not on the plane right now. Just as courage is not the absence of fear, but doing the brave thing in spite of it. Patience is not the absence of irritation, but doing the kind of thing in spite of it. Oh my god, it's finally in words. When people say nature is my religion, are they talking about flies that feed on shit, maggots and decomposing corpses, lioness with stained teeth and mouths full of blood? Are they talking about floods and fires and things from which we should always run? Are they talking about carcasses, rot, death? Or do they just mean this particular copse of benign trees is my religion? You cannot hug a tree without touching all the rot it took to grow it. Just remember, boys, girls, and nuns, to follow the beauty of life, you must also learn to walk with death. Director, okay, so it's a Christmas carol, but with the Muppets, so, you know, feel free to have fun with it, be a little silly. Michael Caine, I am going to play this entire thing as serious as a car accident. 
Now, you see, the problem with the line of thinking is that it assumes that Michael Caine wasn't trying to be funny. He absolutely was. It's just that the funniest thing he could have done is to play it straight. This movie would be less funny if he was being a jokester. He's playing the straight man for all the Muppets. All of them. And that's the funniest thing he could have done. And he could do it because he is that actor. Who could do it for real and it'd be very serious and people would clap and say it's the best since blah 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 blah. But doing that, being a serious dramatic actor in a room full of Muppets. Hilarious. Also, when Kane informed the director he was going to play this like the RSC, the director, Brian Henson, went, Oh, good, that's exactly what I was hoping for. You are beautiful in your own warped little way. No joke with this one? Is he on soft? I am calling you a freak, you illiterate. Ah, there it is. You know, I think I could be trusted with the book that kills people from the classic manga series. No one can be trusted with the power of the book that kills people, in my honest opinion. See, the trick is, I would only kill bad people who deserve it. Unlike the main character, guy who kills people that he thinks are bad people who deserve it. I think the, I think the trick is, is don't eat the processed potato crisp. If I ever pass away, do not unfollow me. I will be back. With the slapping of my ass, something Baja this way blasts. Alright, chat, I got, a, I got a task for you. If you're playing a wizard in D&D or anyone who knows Thunderclap... This is your new incantation to do it. Please record results. Um, the character is bad because... Well, the writing for this character is... Shut up, they made me feel emotion. They're a good character. <gasps> there it is. These two brothers, under the age of ten, were being rowdy in the airport, and their dad calmly said, Stealth mode. And they shut right up. <gasps> Les font terrible. Why is OP French? Oh my god, you can't just ask people why they're French. That's Spanish? That's not Spanish. Everyone watching Mr. Beast's career like, Go, white boy, go! No, white boy, not like that! White boy, I 